Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Indeed, we have made it and the innovators have also nearly made it as well as we make that final stretch towards the finish line. Ideas that were conversations and drawings are now past prototype stage and are becoming a reality. It's been a crazy week, but it's about to get even crazier as we set off then on our fifth and final day. <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted to welcome into the Thunderdome the Bag Daddies. <laughs> mounting as those final ideas start to boil down to reality. Mm. It's been a frantic week and some of the country's greatest minds have come together and pulled it off. It has been frantic, it's been fun, it's been fast paced, it's been exhausting, but most of all it has been productive. So let's remind ourselves of how we got to this point. People look like they're here to have fun, I want ideas. Currently I'm designing the vehicle of the future. Find a 5G area, drop all the information from the sensors. Control technology. It's going to have cup holders to keep your coffee warm, hot, wet and steamy. Innovate. Over 7,000 different ideas pinging out, whittling it down and prototyping it at super speeds within a week. Absolutely flipping amazing. It's the final day and time is running out. It's the big showcase this Friday afternoon where we get to finally see what the teams have been coming up with. This team have been absolutely amazing. You can actually see that he's actually pulling together the physical. That's the problem space and how it's going to resolve it. These guys are actually looking at how mixed reality now, linking it up with sensors in the field, can actually start really pulling out relevant information from so being reactive it's more proactive and then knowing that it's going to break in the next speech you can actually then proactively train your staff there is so much going on today it is indeed day five we've literally feel like i've been here for a whole year so much has gone on everybody's been working so hard so the teams are, are putting forward their big ideas there's also a lot of smaller ideas that can actually be taken back to the business and implemented immediately and once you add all of those up that's actually going to make a tremendous difference and make us a lot more efficient effective and a much better organisation. Nicola, thank you so much for taking time out of this busy morning. So how's the festival going so far? It's great. So we've got one group here looking at building an app with regards to meter reading and gamification and how we can get people hooked to provide some information. It's so fantastic to have all these different people in one room and making a real difference and coming up with some fantastic ideas. At the moment we're testing a prototype which we've been working on all week. We're thinking very much about um, you know, ergonomics, um, how the, the the vehicle driver lives and works in his van, and we're trying try to make it more user friendly, more fit for purpose. Sometimes when you're in a remote rural location and, and you're caught short, we did we did add, we did add in the uh, the that option pipe. that that pipe there could <laughs> could. <laughs> So what is the dragonfly then? Because I'm hearing a lot of buzz about this around <laughs> around the festival. So the dragonfly is a, a sensor that which will go into rivers and tributaries and what it does is it measures for pollution incidents so it will measure various parameters around the water. So we're building QR code posts down the waterway so at any point you can take a snap, download the app, you'll be able to find out about the local history of that area. We're also building it out to have AR capabilities so you can potentially look at different scenes in different seasons to what you're actually in at the moment. That's incredible. I can't even fathom how you guys have come up with all of these ideas in a week. Like, you must be so proud of everybody in this tent. Unbelievable. Like, unbelievably proud. We have been so lucky. It's been brilliant. We've produced something. We've delivered a prototype. We think we've got some way forward for, for to keep the momentum going when we go back to back to the office. I think it's been enjoyable, I think there's been a few good ideas. Nice to get out and think outside the box a bit and do something a bit different to the normal day job, so yeah, it's been really good. Welcome to the closing ceremony for our third Innovation Festival, Innovation Festival 2019. So it's a chance for us to celebrate the amazing work that you have been doing. This Innovation Festival is a great opportunity to make a whole pile of new connections to add to your network. And the winner of the 2019 InvestQuest is the Site Wastewater Analysis Trailer. There's some 
brilliant ideas, simply brilliant ideas. I mean, game-changing stuff, so I, I really uh, can't wait to get on with it. Already. So what kind of stuff stuck out to you the most, do you think, this year? Uh, well, I love the dragonfly. Yeah. Let's, let's wait and see what happens with that. But I tell you, if we can get that to work, that is just going to be amazing. For rural communities, that kind of level of connectivity and the information we'll get back from it is just going to be great. This festival is growing every single time because people get it. They pe people really understand what it is that we're doing here and the fact that we're making a difference and they buy into that. I mean, can you believe to get 734 organisations from, the, from around the world, from the northeast, from this country, from around the world, want to be a part of this and that nobody else in the world is doing something as good at this. That's from the mouth of the guy from Apple. How cool is that? This is collaboration, innovation in action. Day five done, year three done. How does it feel? We're done, we're done, that's a wrap. We are done, it feels absolutely amazing. I'm so proud and so thankful to everybody who's come and joined us this week. I think actually the region is really special yeah. and this probably couldn't happen anywhere else. We're like a village community and everybody is willing to collaborate, but really friendly, you know, really open for offers. And it's great that we've had many visitors from overseas and from other parts of the UK. And I'm hoping that they've seen just what the North East is capable of. And it is big. Put it here, high five. Well done. This year has been fantastic. Thank you very much. It's been amazing. Gutted it's over. Well, there we go. That is it for day five, and that is it for year three. We've seen over 3,000 people. Not forgetting 1,800 school children over the course of the past five days. And also over 700 organisations. So much innovation has happened. You've not seen the last of these ideas, though. They're going to be being brought to life very, very soon. But we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. And that is it. We'll see you next time here at the Innovation Festival. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, let's go. <laughs>